Hi, I'm Matt Ertz. I'm your Madison County historian. We're standing inside Westlake Conservators with a portrait of John E. Smith that was recently restored by Westlake. And Louisa was the restorer. And um, Louisa's going to tell us a little bit about what happened here. So, Louisa, when we brought this in, there was a bunch of tears in this, and it was it was really dirty. Talk a little bit about the process of restoring it and what was involved with it. Yes, yeah, so this is a crayon portrait, which is, a, there's a, a, a lightly printed photograph underneath it that to which uh, color is applied to, and this could be heavy color, just uh, charcoal, like in this case. And um, the, these would be attached to a canvas on the back and stretch over a stretcher, like a painting. Okay. And very commonly, these get desiccated over time. They get brittle, both the paper and the backing get brittle and they uh, commonly appeared punctured because they're they're over the stretcher so if they're not up on the wall very easily they can be um, you know punched Hold through and get, get, get holes so that's how it came so the, the first step was to remove it from it was attached to a, a frame um, I, I removed it from its stretcher and then it was um, surface clean because there was quite a bit of grime on the surface so just with a with um, air bulbs and things like that. And then the media is somewhat friable, so I had to fix the media. Um, so that was the first step. And then after that, it was washed. And during the washing, the backing canvas came off. Uh, and then it was dried and reassessed. So every step of the way, I have to stop and reassess. And then after it was dry, it was then washed and light bleached. It was put under a light unit and a little bit of the yellowing fa faded. It was taken back a little bit. And then it was lined overall onto a Japanese paper using, um, uh, we use with starch paste, so it's a neutral adhesive. And then after that, it was mounted onto a, a window mat. And I actually, I didn't trim it overall. So the way it's mounted, it's attached along all the edges. So hopefully we'll keep it nice and flat because that was the roll of the stretcher that's been removed. So, And then there's a seal, it was put into, inside a sealed package, which will modulate. It's not entirely impermeable to changes in the environment, but it will modulate a little bit. So so it should have a longer life than when it was in storage for 60 yes, years prior to this. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so this is kind of a neat story. In the courthouse, we had a whole bunch of photos that hung late 19th century, early into the 20th century. In the 1960s, they were put into storage. We were able to find these a few years back. Some of them were a little worse for wear, like this one. And it was somebody great like Louisa that was able to help us bring this back to life. And now it's going to go on display back in the courthouse in the lower courtroom. So if you're ever in the courthouse, hopefully for a positive reason, uh, we hope that you'll go take the moment and go see these, uh, these paintings and images because they're really unique and they're all based on uh, bar association members of Madison County. We hope to see you there.